Hey third graders, I am going to be teaching you how to divide a two digit number by a one digit number in today's lesson. So this is kind of the start to long division. Typically this is a harder lesson for third graders so it might take you a problem or two of watching me and watching the steps to figure out how to do this. So I would encourage that you just watch the first few examples and then after a little bit then you can try some of the problems on your own. But let's watch how to do the different steps uh, to this process um, as I go through them on the screen. So as we get started here I want you to grab a pencil. You might need a couple pieces of paper but you can start with one. If you need an extra one go ahead and pause the video and grab another one when you need to. Okay. So there are four steps to this process. Okay. This is our recipe for division. Okay. Sometimes this is called long division and there are a lot of steps that we go through um, but it will help us to divide really large numbers um, into smaller groups. Okay. So first step is divide, second step is multiply, third step is subtract, fourth step is break down. Now that might be a little bit hard for you to remember right away. So to help you remember the steps in order, what we should do, you can think of it this way. Did mom serve burgers? Did divide mom multiply serve subtract burgers spring down. There's another way that might help you remember this and you might find this a little bit funny so maybe it'll be easier for you to remember the steps. During math someone burped. During math someone burped. During, divide, math, multiply, someone, subtract, burped, bring down. Let's say I want to divide $68 into four equal groups. Maybe I had, we did a job with four people and we were paid $68 and we need to split it evenly between the four of us. All right, so my first step whenever I'm doing this is to divide the tens place. Okay, so I'm only going to pay attention to the tens right now. It was $68, but I've covered up the ones. I don't want to look at that right now. So I want to do six divided by four, and I cannot do that exactly. So I want to get as close to six as I possibly can. So I'm thinking in my head, what number times four would get me close to six? Well, in my head, I'm thinking the number one. Okay, so my first step. 6 divided by 4 is 1. That's divide. The next one is an M. Multiply. So I'm going to multiply this 1 times the 4 here. And then I'm going to write that number right down here. Okay, now that I've multiplied, my next step is subtract. So I want to do 6 minus 4, and 6 minus 4 is 2. Okay, next I need to bring down, do the B. So, did mom serve burgers? B, well, that's the step we're at right now, so bring down my ones place. And in this case, bring down my ones place. In this case, it's an 8. And now I've made a new number. I have $28 that I need to divide by these same four people. Okay? Because my last step here is repeat. Okay? So first we divided. 6 divided by 4 is 1. Then we multiplied. 1 times 4 is 4. Then we subtracted. 6 minus 4 is 2. Next step, we brought down the 8, and now I'm at the repeat stage. Okay, so 28 divided by 4. I know 28 divided by 4 is 7. Okay, 
Now, the next step I need to do, I'm not done, so I need to do 7 times 4 because it says to multiply. The next step after that is subtract 28 minus 28. Okay, and then when I do that, that is 0. And there are no more numbers to bring down, so I don't need to do the fourth step in this, uh, in this part. So, what I found is $68 divided by 4 should be $17. Each person would receive $17. And I can check that because the opposite of division is multiplication. So I can go 7 times 4. I know that's 28. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6. And that's the same number I have here. So I know that I did this correctly. Okay, on to the next problem. For the next problem, I have $72 divided by 3. Remember, first thing I need to do is divide the tens, and then I'll worry about the ones after that. So we need to do 7 divided by 3. This time, if I just did 1, well, that one would be very close. i got to get closer. I want to get as close to 7 as I can without going over. So let's say I put a 3 here. And my next step is multiply. 3 times 3, that's 9. I can't do that. That's too much. So a 3 doesn't work. So sometimes you might guess and check and figure out that that doesn't work. So try a different number. If I try 1. 1 times 3, that's 3, and then when I do 7, minus 3, that's 4. Okay, This is another thing that can't happen. This number, after we subtract, cannot ever be bigger than the number we're dividing by. So those are two common mistakes. Okay, So we can get a little bit closer there. So 7 divided by 3, I can do that two times. Okay, my next step is multiply. I just divided. My next step is multiply. 2 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6. Next step, subtract. 7 minus 6 equals 1. Next step, bring down. Bring down the 2. Now I've made a new number. I have 12. 12 divided by 3, because I'm starting over. 12 divided by 3, I can do that four times. Okay. Next step, multiply 4 times 3. 4 times 3 is 12. Next step, subtract. 12 minus 12 is 0. And fourth step, bring down. Well, there's nothing left to bring down, so I don't need to do that. I want to end up with a zero here. Okay, that's my goal right now. Next problem I will show you is $57 divided by 3. And I still want you to just watch me do this for this problem. 57 divided by 3. Well, I need to start with the, with the tens and do 5 divided by 3. First step is to divide. 5 divided by 3. You can do that one time. 1 times 3, because my second step is multiply. 1 times 3 is 3. Third step, subtract. 5 minus 3 is 2. Fourth step, Bring down. Bring down the 7. Okay, now I need to go, after I get done with bring down, I need to go back to the beginning and start over again. I'm repeating. So 27 divided by 3. 27 divided by 3, I can do that 9 times. Second step, multiply. So I'm going to multiply this 9 times 3. 9 times 3, that is 27. Third step, subtract 27 minus 27. That is 0. Okay? I can check that. I can go 19 
times 3. 9 times 3, 27. And 7 here, I regroup the 2 by putting it above the 1. I do 3 times 1, that is 3. And I add the 2 that I carried before, that is 57. Matches my number there, I know I divided correctly. Next up we'll do $96 divided by 4 and also $95 divided by 5. If at this point in the video you are feeling confident that you could try these steps, hit pause, go ahead and try these two problems, and then when you're ready, come back and watch me go through these. If you need to watch another one here, take your time. There are a lot of steps in this. This isn't always very easy for third graders to learn. Let's try 96 divided by 4. 9 divided by 4, because we're doing the tens first. 9 divided by 4, I could do that two times. Next step, multiply. 2 times 4, 8. Third step, subtract. 9 minus 8, that's 1. I bring down the 6. My new number is 16. 16 divided by 4. 16 divided by 4, that is 4. Next step, multiply 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16. Third step, subtract. 16 minus 16 is 0. And I'm going to put my dollar sign here because there is one right here. If you need to hit pause, now would be a great time to try $95 divided by 5. Let's do 95 divided by 5 here. So, start with the tens. 9 divided by 5. All right, I'm going to make a mistake here and just show you what happens. Let's say, I think, 9 divided by 5. Let's try that two times. Well, now my next step is multiply. 2 times 5, that's 10. And then I try to subtract that. That doesn't work to do that. So when that happens, you need to write a new number on top. Well, 9 divided by 5, 1. I can do that one time. So my second step is multiply. 1 times 5, that is... 9 minus 5, that's my third step, is 4. Bring down the 5. My new number is 45. So I need to divide 45 divided by 5. I could do that 9 times. 9 times 5, 45. 45 minus 45 is 0. Okay, now I would definitely encourage you to hit pause right now and try these two problems before I actually go through them. You've seen about five or six examples, and I want you to try these two on your own. Let's go through 84 divided by 3. Let's start with the tens. 8 divided by 3. You can do that two times. Second step, multiply 2 times 3, 6. Third step, subtract 8 minus 6, 2. Bring down, that's my fourth step, bring down the 4. Now I'm looking at 24 and dividing by 3. 24 divided by 3, I could do that 8 times. Second step, multiply. 8 times 3, 24. Third step, subtract. 24 minus 24, 0. $28 is my answer there. Over here, $78 divided by 2. 7 divided by 2. Closest I can get is... 3 here. 7 divided by 2, 3. I could do that 3 times. 3 times 2 is 6. Third step, 7 minus 6, 1. Fourth step, bring down 18 divided by 2. We're starting over. 18 divided by 2. I can do that 9 times. Second step, Multiply, 9 times 2, 18. Third step, subtract, 18 minus 18, 
zero. Okay. So 78 divided by 2 is $39. All right. Today's lesson is why it was so important that we learned our addition facts, our subtraction facts, our multiplication facts, and our division facts. Using all of them to solve problems like this and to check our answers like this. Okay, we're adding when we're checking by multiplying. We're subtracting here quite, quite a few times. We are multiplying the number we write on top times the number we're dividing by. And we are dividing the numbers inside the box by the numbers outside the box. So we're getting to put all four of those math facts to the test here and see how well you know them. If you know your facts, this is a lot easier. If you don't know your facts, this is quite a bit harder. This might take a couple days for you to learn, for you to practice, so if you have questions, please contact me at school and I will set up a meeting with you to go through more examples and so you can get the steps down in this process. It's not easy, but if you practice it and you keep trying, you will figure it out. Good luck third grade and I'll see you on the next video.